Hi, you're here with Half Chrome. Today we're going to take a look at the LG 360 cam. As you can see, we're not just going to walk around with this camera. We are going to put it up on a couple of different drones. Now this is a full 360 degree video, so make sure you grab that video and pan around. You can look left, right, and up and down. We're going to ask you to do that as we go through the video. Now let's see how we did this. So look around and see and first up you can see the Phantom 3. We put this camera underneath the drone as well as on top of it. We're gonna fly stateside like that and then we're gonna head to Mexico and we're gonna take with us the affordable Bugs 3 brushless motor drone that you can get for about a hundred dollars. Now let's check out this bad boy in action. Now how do you get it underneath the Phantom 3? It's hard to take off with the camera hanging underneath it so I took off and let it stay there steadily guided by the downward camera system and GPS and now we can fly so I just screwed the camera underneath there carefully avoiding the props that's not going to be good for you or the drone to get hit by one of those so exercise caution always when doing something like that now we're flying over the backyards here and over the lake let's talk about this video quality now this is 2.5k video it's done by merging together and stitching together two separate videos from the two opposite facing cameras on the LG 360 cam. Now when you download the video to your phone it will do this automatically for you. You don't want to download from the camera to your computer you want to let it go through your smart device which will do the stitching. I just shot the gap there and now we're gonna fly over some of the local horse properties while we talk about price. The LG 360 cam comes in at just under hundred twenty dollars on Amazon right now definitely making it the half chrome top value pick for 360 degree cameras. The nearest competition is going to cost you almost twice as much at $200 which is the Insta360. It gets you 3K video which isn't much more really but it is an interesting camera wor worth looking at. It does integrate seamlessly through the lightning jack to uh, Apple devices. Now let's talk a little bit about how I connected this camera to the bottom of the Phantom 3. I've got a piece of quarter inch plywood underneath the legs. I tried putting it on top a little bit further back but it will interfere with the downward facing sensors on the Phantom 3. Now that will not get you the results you want so I moved the plywood underneath the legs and forward a little bit with a nice quarter inch typical tripod mount thread hanging down I was able to screw this camera underneath the drone. Now next up we're going to see what happens when you put the camera on top of the drone. Now the Phantom 3 is a little bit larger than the Bugs 3 that you're going to see in our Mexico video coming up next. What that means is you're really covering a little bit too much of the world in my opinion than you want to. So you can't see what's underneath you. You can look up at an unobscured sky but not as interesting as the world below typically. So we really recommend taking the extra effort and putting this camera under the drone. Now, taking another look at that, we've got it underneath here, zooming through the backyard. You can really get a sense of just how fast the Phantom 3 is and the capability of what this camera can do and the immersive feel that you get. Now, next up, we're going to talk about some of the other features of this camera in Half Chrome Labs. Okay, that was pretty sweet to see what this camera can do strapped on the bottom of a drone. Now, let's talk about some of the other features. I came down to Half Chrome Labs to show you a couple things. First up, this hard case that it comes with protects it from pretty much everything. You slide it over, snaps on, and no problems, throw it in the back. Now, most 360 cameras don't come with something like this. Super nice that it does. Next up, the audio. It's got three microphones kind of useless when it's on a drone, but let's see how it does here. I'm not going to do anything to edit the audio. Let's see how it sounds. Finally, let's talk about the stabilization. So, you might have noticed when on the drone, when the drone does some roll, when it's fighting the wind a little bit, it seems to compensate. So, when I roll this, about the optical axis, nice and slowly, no issue. Same thing when I pitch it forward. Okay. Now that's interesting. How about yaw? Now you'll see the world is spinning. You get a nice tour of the lab there. So a little bit different. What you basically have here is two axis image stabilization done electronically. 
Now, we would love to see it be able to get rid of some of these more jittery effects. Hope I'm not making you nauseous. But for now, we're happy with what it has. We'd like to see them upgrade the software a little bit more. Obviously, it has the gyros and accelerometers on there to do it. So, you've seen some of the features. Let's go fly some more. Headed to Mexico. I'm going to put on my shades. I got my sandals on. We'll see you out there. Bienvenidos a Mexico. We're going to start off talking about one of the cool features of this camera, which is time-lapse photography. So you can see we've got the sunrise here. Just another feature of this camera. Now, as promised, we are going to get up in the Bugs 3 brushless motor drone here next, and we're going to start off flying over the pool. Now, take a moment to notice how much these palm trees are blowing around. This was a perilous flight, so I had, couldn't take it too far, not as far as I wanted. Uh, but you can get some sense for, again, the beautiful video you can get. Here, in this case, the camera on top of the drone. We've got a tour guide this time. And we are going to fly up over this rock, again, at the Marina El Cid Resort in the Riviera Maya, Mexico. Now, on the way back down from the rock, you will see me almost nail that palm tree there on the right. Now, up here at this rock, they have a nice cliff jump and a slide to entertain the family all day, which was pretty cool while we were here. Again, a little more jitter than I'd like due to the windy situation. And uh, we're going to come off the drone here real quick and go through that cave, which goes underneath the rock, and you'll just see how it how capable this camera is at dealing with the low light situation. I was really surprised to see the detail it could still pick up in which was a really dark walk through that cave. So pretty cool, but let's not linger too long on that. Let's get back up on the drone. Uh, this time instead of on top of the bug tree, we're going to be underneath it. We've got a couple different tour guides this time. And why not? Let's just fly through the room and go in the front door, over through the kitchen, over the bed, and out the back patio. We had a nice view over the spa and of the ocean there. You might be able to pick that up at the end. But it's just not a video camera. Let's talk about the camera capabilities for photos. Here you can see in that, if you just pan around to see the mirror in the background, you can see I'm just about two inches from the image target and about four inches from my little buddy. You can take some really interesting shots like this one at the dinner table. No need to bother the waiter anymore. Just throw the camera up on a tripod and you can capture everybody from a single spot. I think you're going to see some serious use and more applications of these 360 cameras in the future. It's only the limit of your creativity. Now, if you like this video, please check us out and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more details on the LG 360 cam, check us out at halfchrome.com.